Yeah, it's got me notes. Let's go. Alright, we are live. We've got Dave and Sanic. What's up, everyone? Yo. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a 3, 2, 1 if you're ready. Okay. Uh, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, good luck, man. So, or if you want to explain Sanic, I guess. Like, general run, or... Uh, yeah. For the, uh, this is of all the tracks in Arad and the time is happening. Uh, what the main uh, thing he's gonna do here is he's a uh, instead of um oh, okay so basically instead of using scooter everywhere because scooter is just the best vehicle um, doesn't use any vehicle more than once. This is kind of like we may is like a lot of the vehicles have cool movement tech even though they're not as fast. Um, we just kind of did it for fun and then yeah. Yeah, it's like so the main thing with is like the And by doing that allows you to retain the see the side down the hill. It just keeps all that speed until it's really tough. Uh, yeah, those boosters, uh, um, I, like, I picked up a bunch of speed and I was kind of like hung on to it for a really long time. Do it sliding up there so I got wrecked by that sword guy. And then if he's like in the right spot, he'll just like bottom of you. Yeah, it's a tight move, just one reason because. Normal like multiplayer mode, they're like all random. You also get oh like. Oh my god. Uh, Let's not do that. Like, sorry. <laughs> uh, so. Um, yeah, Alright, um, in this mode, in time that mode, also uh, when you kill an enemy, you get a little burst of speed from it. Uh, it's not really in any of the other modes. And all the, the uh, individual level and time effect stuff is based around these enemies. Yeah, like one of the really big things about this game that makes it like makes it have a pretty high skill cap is the fact that you get a lot of speed boosts from enemies. So like, in addition to playing well with your vehicle, like um, using the enemies and stuff like that correctly. Um, both getting certain power-ups and then also, uh, um, like, using them to kill certain enemies, like, ends up saving you a lot of time. And avoiding some power-ups, too. Yeah. There's some power-ups that, like, transform your vehicle completely. So, like, there's a wheel power-up and a bird power-up. Like, the bird power-up's almost always bad. The wheel power-up can be good sometimes and can be bad sometimes. Like, actually, on this level, I'm going to be grabbing several wheels because they're faster than this vehicle. Um, we kind of only yeah, use this vehicle is. here because, uh... The better vehicles are used elsewhere. This is kind of like one of the ones that isn't as fast, but still ends up being like pretty moderate as far as how fast it goes. Um, it's a pretty good mid tier. It's like C plus, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the rank is. Yeah, that's probably where I put it, like high C tier or so. I really like this. Uh, Maybe B tier even. Like, I think uh, it's like fifth best or so out of sixteen. Yeah, it's like it's like the best of the mid tiers basically. And some of the kind of depends, like, some vehicles aren't always ranked the same way on the same tracks. So, like, this one is a little worse on some tracks, but it's pretty good here, which is why we use it here. It, it, this category is pretty fun to route, because, like, uh, there's a huge Japanese IO community that, like, has a lot of the time attack times for a lot of the vehicles on all the tracks, like, pretty optimized. So we're able to look at that and be like, well, this one, the world record here is, like, super good, so we can uh, yeah. use that here and, like, learn it. We're almost and then, super good. Yeah. Shout out to Speedrider. Yeah, speedrider.cho.88 has all the IO records, and they're they're insane. Like, if you want to check it out, highly recommend it. If you like watching Kirby go fast. Yeah, the cool thing about the Japanese community is that there's a lot of uh, runners who are just like uh, machine mains. Like, there's a really bike main, there's a, yeah. you know, a Rocket Star main, and all that sort of stuff. Oh. 
you suck up two enemies, uh, gets you like a random power up cycler. Um, technically, it's not random, but the like it goes in a certain order, and then it starts on the same two enemies when you suck it up, and it lasts the same amount of time. So we could know like which enemies, but it's like a two frame window for uh, each power up in the cycler. So in order to like pick a specific one, it's pretty difficult. It's like right there, I meant to pick up one of the swords, but I ended up just getting two of them in random fire. Doesn't really matter. So there's the S tier machine right here. <laughs> yeah, so this vehicle uses a glitch called the Spin Dash. It actually uses several glitches. Um, the one that I was using there is the Spin Dash, which uh, if you spin and charge and turn towards a wall, you go really fast. Um, here's another one if you like. Um, I need to get that plasma. Um, but like if you start charging on a uh, on like a rail or something like that, or if you're charging and you catch air, um, then uh, like for the remainder of that charge you'll lose speed a lot slower. Also, like the problem with getting that plasma there is that when you have plasma, like spinning the joystick charges up your plasma instead of actually making you spin. So I couldn't spin dash like once I got to the top of that elevator. So that was kind of a mistake, but that kind of thing happens sometimes since the A button is like everything. It's sucking up enemies, it's your break, it's your boost, it helps you turn, ev everything. So, like, pressing A for one thing, sometimes other things that you don't want to happen will happen. Yeah, it's kind of weird, the, the simple control scheme, but it's not like add step to the game. <laughs> and uh, that big mega slide at the end of the one. That's interesting. It's a Japanese exclusive. Wait, what? So, yeah. Oh, the zip, sorry. I thought you right said sign, end. and I was like trying to figure out what you're talking about. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I kind of forgot to explain it as I was doing it. I'll, I'll explain what I did again here on this lap. Um, basically, there's like a little bump on the left side, and I charge as I fly over it. And I catch air for a moment, and then... Uh, um, it's like that little bump. Did I get it? I barely got it. I messed it up, but I got the speed anyway. Um, so like it retains your speed longer when you're in that glitch state until like you really say. So um, yeah. yeah, it's like the only reason why he's using Japanese boost. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely like the, the biggest reason. Uh, several of the vehicles are a little yeah. faster on Japanese just because all the vehicles are lighter, so they maintain speed better. But in particular, like. The vehicle scooter being lighter allows me to do that glitch. So only Rocket Star is like yeah. actually like Rocket Star is like speed. substantially faster and then everything else is just like a little bit faster I think. Well the same top speed, but it's a little bit different to this. Yeah. That's it. I don't know. We're not really exactly sure. It's kinda like hard to tell because it's not All exactly the light out of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a big wiki for this game, but you can't read it. hit the button that raises the wall, because I'm an amazing player. <laughs> that was an awful time, but I'll take it, because marathon run, can't really do anything about it. Um, That's so, fine. so right here, I'm using the Swerve Star, which is very basic. It goes in a straight line at a constant speed. Um, it can't turn unless you stop compl moving completely. Um, but it's got, like, due to the way that it bounces off walls, if like you're spinning and turn towards a wall, it'll like push you away at a slightly higher speed for a little bit. Um, so that's basically what this course is, just like spinning the walls. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, it can't like do, do any more speed for boost pads. Or yeah, like if I hit these anything boosters anything. here, like my speed goes up for like less than a second, and then it just drops right back down. Yeah, so it's a like good average speed, but it doesn't go fast. Yeah. It ends up being like by far the best vehicle to play to use casually because it's really easy. <laughs> but like, in terms of getting speed boost from enemies and playing well, I guess, with like maintaining your speed and stuff like that, it just doesn't happen because it doesn't get to maintain speed at all. Yeah, Jakey, that, that uh, check knight was like completely awful. <laughs> but yeah, like this is probably, like normally the vehicle is kind of kind of dull, kind of boring, but this vehicle, just like the way the level set up, ends up being pretty fun for this vehicle. Probably my favorite um, vehicle to use this, or favorite course to use this vehicle on. I need to 
suck up that wheel. But I think we explained those already, so just to be more clear. Yeah. Using a separate machine for every level. So that wheel power up also has like a little bit of wall um, movement. A lot of vehicles like that's if they have like special tech, it, then it's something having to do with the wall. Um, so I was trying to do it a little bit there with the wheel, but I didn't really do it very well. It's not nothing's as significant as the wheelie scooter. They're just like slight optimizations that make you go a little faster. And then also like similar to with uh, scooter, getting these plasmas here on this level is kind of a problem because uh, um, you can't spin, so you can't do the thing if you did it. So now we're going to probably. This is like the second best vehicle on this course, and it's like really good. Um, this vehicle has like a mechanic, kind of unintended. We call it a jet dive, where uh, the intended mechanic was every like whenever you catch air, uh, you gain speed. But what was kind of unintended was that it loses speed pretty fast while in the air, but it doesn't lose it nearly as fast on the ground. So if you catch air and then drop to the ground immediately, uh, you maintain the speed a lot longer. And then you can also. Uh, um, you can also utilize that speed that you've gotten to get to catch air on little bumps that you wouldn't have been able to catch at lower speeds. So the whole thing just kind of like adds on to itself, and you can get areas like if you did that hillside really well, you can zip down at like over 100 kilometers an hour. Um, yeah, you can almost like max on it, top speeds and parts. Yeah. Um, a machine that has a really high skill ceiling. Yeah. Like there are tasks with this machine, and they're just like insane. Like they're up zero here. Pretty much going at the top speed level throughout the level. Yeah. The main goal of all that is that it really depends on the level that you're playing on. Yeah. So like, this has the potential to probably be the best vehicle on this level, but you know, human has surpassed the scooter time. And then like, there's a couple of levels that it has the potential to probably be the best on, but like, ends up being like the second or third best just because of how many of the jet dives you can reasonably get as a human. But the task is. Does it still? I, yeah, I, I can't remember. Like by a little tiny bit. But okay. So it has the lap record by a little bit over Scooter, but then Scooter has the time attack record. Yeah, there's some this machine up. It's like, it's not meant for humans to use. It's not meant yeah, for what? It's, really fun. it's not meant for humans to use. Oh my god, what am I doing? It's for computers. Yeah, so like for comparison, the, the fastest lap record on uh, Sky Sands with Jet in like in real time is like 31 seconds, and the fastest task record is like 22 seconds or something. And it's not doing anything that like theoretically a human couldn't do. It's just done so much better that it ends up being substantially faster, like almost 50% faster. Or and the right? real time record for that is already pretty ridiculous. Yeah, the real time record for like the single lap is substantially faster than like what the sum of the three laps would be. So like the Time attack record's like 142 versus the lap record is like 31. So, and then you account for like time attack usually has enemies that you can kill which give, give you speed more. So like in some situations the uh, um, time attack record can be faster than like three times the lap record, but um, not for Jet just because of how hard it is to consistently do everything in real time. So right here is formula star. The idea was that it can't turn very well, it can't boost very well, but it has a high top speed. Um, ends up being pretty garbage because like it's not very many levels that can utilize it very well. But since it maintains speed pretty well, it's all right here because this course like doesn't really have very many turns. Um, it's got so many enemies you can just continue to regain speed from those. Yeah, exactly. It's like it gets a little bit of speed from killing each enemy and then it just kind of keeps it going together. So it's not a great vehicle, it's kind of the one of the ones that was left over after like using all the good vehicles on other levels. Yeah, it's such a short course, so it doesn't really hurt too much. Yeah. So good vehicles right here, it's like the Rocket Star, which is the I believe second best vehicle in terms of the total sum of like yeah, best solid times. Second. Yeah. Um, it'd be in competition with Jet, except there's a couple levels that Jet is just horrible on, because there's like not very many uh, lumps anywhere. So the deal with this is that the uh, the charge is like really strong, or the, the boost from charging rather. Um, 
takes a long time to charge up. Yeah. Big boost. But this level in particular, there's a uh, uh, there's a moving rail. He wants to go down the middle every time, so there's a bit of a cycle on this level. Sometimes you may have to like, wait for that rail to get in position. Yeah. So the reason why this vehicle is like by far the best on this course is because there's a lot of enemies, and since it gets the most boost, it's the most boost from basically all sources. And then also there's a lot of green boost panels on the ground, which again, also helps. Also one of the mechanics I hadn't explained earlier is uh, double boosting, which is like if you tap A on a booster panel twice, you can get the boost twice from it. Um, so as a result, like you can hit the boost just twice and just go really fast. So you can see that like when I get to the lava section here in a minute. Um, like I drop to the ground immediately, double boost off the first one, and then like I try and double boost on the other one. Sometimes I can't because I'm going too fast, but just kind of go zipping down the whole way. Uh, those boosters right there are on a cycle, so like if I was smart, I could calculate like before I come around the corner. Oh, I messed up boost this route. Um, when I'm coming around the corner, um, I could know like where they're going to be, but it's pretty hard to keep track of in real time. Anyway, this is the rail Sanic was talking about, that like, um, I want to keep going down the middle path, which I managed to do this run, um, but like, if you get the left path, like, you basically just sit there and wait and charge, um, rather than taking the left path, because of how slow it is, and then the right path is like, alright, I guess, but it's just not as good. There's a bird on the left path too, so you have to avoid him, otherwise you just go really slowly, yeah. because if it can't boost or anything. Speaking of bird. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so literally getting that bird there at the end of the lap, like at the very end of the run, costs like probably over five seconds. Um, just for that little tiny bit of time. Yeah, it's no speed for those bees. Yeah. So Turbo Star is really weird. Uh, you can do that. It's kind of cool. But it has like three unique mechanics, I guess, about it. One of that is like um, the slower it's going, the faster it turns, which is kind of weird. And like the second thing is like the more turned from the direction that it's going, the faster it charges. So like, if you watch, like, as I turn, the gauge starts filling up slowly at the beginning and then faster later on, like as I get more turned. It's just... Oh my That's God, why I didn't did spin at the start because of that. Yeah. So you get boost right at the beginning. It's just really weird. And the last thing is like, when it catches air, um, kind of like, it goes upward for a little bit and then like comes back down. So on big, on places that we catch air for more than like a second, we like tilt downward. So it would, what would normally bring us up, like, brings us forward instead. It's kind of weird. Um, this is also a pretty, like, solidly mid-tier vehicle. Um, the single Turbo Star main has, like, all the records for Turbo. It's, like, really good with it. Um, Shout out to Luka. Yeah. Japanese Future player. Future no Dudes record holder. <laughs> you what? Future no record. Oh yeah, he's gonna have the record for this category in a little bit. He got a time that's like a couple seconds off of mine a couple days ago. It's kind of cool because like not very many of the Japanese players really interact with like the Western community much, but um, he's pretty interactive. He speaks English and stuff like that a little bit. Um, and then he uploaded the run of this, which is like just a couple seconds off, so he'll probably like take the record here pretty soon because he's really good. So I think in general it's probably the slowest level in the entire room. This comparison to like the uh, fastest times. Yeah. So well, like any, I think Check Knight. Check Knight is a little slower because the record here is like a 224 or something. Um, well, I'm thinking like in relation to like what the fastest time is. There's oh, like between. So much time with Turbo. Um, like the fastest time with any vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the scooter, basically. Yeah, that seems that seems about right. Um, outside of like maybe Nebula, because the scooter time is insane. Yeah, but the, uh, if you use a second place machine on Nebula, still. Yeah. This is like. This might be the lowest ranked vehicle that we close. use, I guess. Yeah, better formula. Could be. Right. Anyway, this is the last track already. Nebula Belt. Um, Main attraction, dude. <laughs> we use Volkstar, which is an awesome vehicle. Um, really stupid. Uh, it doesn't move unless you charge up its fuel, which is like its charge meter, 
and then it just kind of goes from like zero to like 60 or so kilometers an hour and then it starts slowing down again but if you start the speed from like 40 kilometers an hour by going off a jump and it goes from 40 to 100 so it ends up going a lot faster um, if you ever played the game casually like this vehicle is just stupid you never use it but um, in the speedrun you also basically never use it but you can use it here because like um, the only vehicle actually faster than this on this course is Wheelie Scooter by just doing like a bunch of spin dashes really well. Um, but it's really, really hard to use much better than Bulk. So, and since we use Scooter elsewhere, um, we use Bulk here. It's cool. It's a nice ender to the run. Pretty relaxing. You get to look at Kirby. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like 80% of the time you're not even like, pressing it anyway. Yeah. But they're like 20%, it's like really focused. Because if you miss the ramp, it's like game over. Yeah, if you miss the ramp, you lose like 10, 10 or more seconds probably. That's a risk though. And seeing it's like the game is primarily just about like slight movement optimizations, like a loss of 10 seconds is like awful. I think Bolt Star in general is like 20 miles an hour faster than Formula. So. At max speed or? Like it's top speed, not like three twos. Could be, yeah. I'm not exactly sure the quad run hour is, but Yeah, Jake, you're remembering wrong. The rocket's like two twenty four or so, and then bulk is like two fifteen, I think. But yeah, it uses the bomb stress. <laughs> oh yeah. Um the bulk record actually just got beat by the same guy we were talking about, Luca. He like he grabs that bomb at that um random cycler thing there and then throws it and then like is in an explosion as he goes off this jump. And normally, like, explosions push you up as you're taking damage. This thing's too heavy to actually get pushed up, but it stays in the air longer, so it builds up more speed and ends up, like, hitting max speed there at the end of the charge at, like, 114 or something instead of... I just hit, like, 102. I'm standing by on time, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah, time's coming up right as I fin cross the finish line, so time. Kind of, like, oh. totally forgot about time, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So that was... Air at all tracks, no duplicate vehicles, or just no dupes, no, we call it. No sub-21, though. Ooh. 2201. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this game's really fun, so... Hey, good, Yeah, good luck. Alright. Alright, so up next, uh, small change of plans, it looks like we're playing um, Ed Ed Nettie and his adventures. Um, Flashy's gonna be coming back on screen. And yeah, thanks, thanks for coming on, David mm -hmm. and Sanic. Yep.